morning guys so it is a Monday morning and I thought I would try something a little bit different and do a vlog <laughs> I know so I have Mondays off and it's usually when I get my week organized and I do all my filming as well so I thought why not show you what I get up to if you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know and I can always do more in the future Right now, I'm just going to eat my brekkie. I have made two pieces of toast with peanut butter and cheese. Oh my god. Weird combo, but it is so delicious. And I've got my coffee in my Kath and Kim, oh, Kath and Kel mug. <laughs> By the way, I actually use Norwex cloths to do a lot of my cleaning. So this here is a mini Enviro cloth and it can be used to wipe over all your surfaces. And then I go over my mirrors and the stainless steel with this window cloth and this polishes it. So no chemicals and this has like silver in it so it kills the bacteria. Mm -hmm. All right. So I just got my groceries. Click and collect is the best. You just do your shopping online and then go pick it up the next day. You can do delivery, but it's usually about $10. And look, Coles is just down the road, so it's easy enough for me just to go and pick it up. So I like to meal plan every week. I've got this little planner here that I got from Kmart and it's got like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and treats. I just fill it all up in the two sections though. So I've got my breakfast, my lunches, and dinners. I find doing this really easy because then I know exactly what I need to buy for the week and I'm not overspending. That's something I love about the online shopping as well is I tend not to go over the budget. Whereas if I go into store, I just pick up anything and everything and then it's like $200. I can't be spending $200 a week on two people. Like what the hell? Clinton is obsessed with these Coles brand cookies. So I got him two boxes he's gonna love me <laughs> so for dinners this week tonight we're having homemade pizza I've got some pumpkin feta rocket and some chicken tomorrow night we're gonna have lasagna Wednesday night I'm going out Thursday night Clinton's gonna make pad thai so I got some noodles some sprouts some shallots spring onions whatever they're called Coriander. I love coriander. Clinton hates it. He reckons it smells like dead ants. Whatever. Um, oh, and a bit of broccolini in the pad thai too is really nice. Friday night is our takeaway night. And then on Saturday, we're going to have like a Mexican rice dish. So I just got some beans that'll have mince in it as well. And then I just got some fruit for the week to go with my oats for brekkie. Spinach for lunches. A few little sneaky snacks. <laughs> All right, so I have finished all my errands for the morning. It's about 10.30 and now I need to start filming. But first, I need to attend to this mess because that just, I can't, I can't work in this, so. <laughs> okay, so I am all cleaned up. I just wanted to quickly show you my little setup. So if you haven't seen any of my makeup collection and like beauty room videos, this is kind of what it looks like. So I just got my camera in the middle, my two softbox lights on the side, and then some natural light from the big window as well. So when I film, I like to just write down everything I need to do. So I've got a big filming day today because next week I am busy on Monday. So I need to get enough videos filmed today to last for two weeks. So I've got here, I need to film my demos first. I need to film a concealer Instagram stories for L'Oreal. I need to film the bronzer application and then I can go into the rest of the videos and start filming all the talking and that. 
I also like to just write it up on my computer just so that I get all the information and I don't miss anything. So this will probably take me about three hours to get all this filming done, so I better get into it. Oh my God, I am finally done. It has been three and a half hours of filming, but I got everything completed. Oh, it feels good. So I am starving. I'm gonna go make some lunch now. Hello, hi. <laughs> These are my mum's dogs. <laughs> this is Tubsy and this is Jasmine. <laughs> this is Tubsy and that's Jasmine. Hi! A pipe burst at my mum's house last week and we walked into a flooded house. So her dogs, oh my God, Jasmine, can you not? Her dogs are staying with me for a while. Hey Tubsy! Yes? Here is lunch. I just made a salad. I've got some spinach, some brown rice, some marinated olives. Oh my God, they are my favorite. Oh, my mouth is watering. I've got some cucumber and some radish. That salad was freaking delicious. Olives in anything, just, I'll eat it. I'll just, I love olives, okay, okay. Well, as you can see, I've got my dressing gown back on. I am going to get on the lounge and do some editing. I'll probably spend maybe an hour, an hour and a half doing some editing. Clinton usually gets home around about four o'clock, so I'll edit until he gets home. Okay, so I have done some editing. I've had a shower. It's now about five o'clock, so I'm going to get on to some meal prepping. Okay, so I've just cut up some pumpkin. I'm making pizzas for dinner tonight, and I've got some chicken poaching for the pizzas as well. I've got some mixed cooking here because I'm making a lasagna, as I mentioned this morning, and that's going to be for dinner tomorrow night. And then I've got some zucchinis here. I ordered them, like I got them with my coals online. Look how tiny they are though. <laughs> Damn, I want to make um, fritters for my lunches and I'll have that with like some spinach, avocado and eggs when I get home from work. Okay, so I've just grated up all my zucchini for my fritters. I like to grate it onto a tea towel and then put some salt on it. And this helps draw the moisture out. So then what you do is get your tea towel like this and squeeze it and it's going to get all the water out of the zucchini. So I'll just let that sit for a while. And I've got my mince here for my lasagna. To add some veg into it, I'm just going to grate two carrots. Usually I would put some zucchini as well, but those zucchinis were very tiny. I don't have any spare. I think my chicken is done as well. So let me just take that out. Yes, so that is my poached chicken. And then I'll just shred that up, put some seasonings on it, and that'll go on my pizza. It may seem a bit weird putting carrot in the lasagna, but anywhere I can add some extra veg, I'm all about it. Onto the zucchini. We'll wrap it up. So I find if I don't do this, my fritters end up really wet and soggy. I'm not about that. Alright, so then I just pop the zucchini in the bowl. So this recipe I just kind of guess. I chuck in a few eggs, maybe two. Give them a little whisk. Lots of pepper. 
my sister just caught me on my own cooking show. <laughs> I'm vlogging today, Kiki. Do you want to be my vlog? Come on, show us your brownies. Oh, I was gonna say a little bit of chili, but then I just put a lot of chili in, so. And then I've got some ground cumin seeds, just a little bit. And then I just add a little bit of flour. This is a gluten-free flour until I get the right consistency. So I don't want it to be too sloppy. So here are my fritters. How good do they look? Excuse me, ma'am. Say it to my face. I make ten And here's my lasagna. How good does that look? And then I've also prepped my breakfast. So I'll have oats. It's got chia seeds and flax seeds on it with strawberries and nuts. <laughs> oh, did I scare you there? <laughs> Pizza time. Pizza sauce. Right, well, that was my Monday. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more vlogs. Clinton wants to see more vlogs. <laughs> and so does Kia. Hey, you want more vlogs? Yeah. There we go. All right, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.